At Complete Feet, your professional assessment starts with making a time that suits you in one of our many clinic locations. To help you in the best way possible, a secure medical record is created. This helps the clinician for a better understanding of your needs during your consultation. So now that we've completed your assessment, we've got a diagnosis and your diagnosis is that you've got a pes cavus foot type. So that means you've got a really high arch, which is quite unusual. Most people have a low arch. So you don't need support and correction through this medial arch, which is the arch that everyone knows about. There's actually two other arches. So there's the transverse arch, which goes across here on both feet, and also an arch on the side of the foot here called the cuboid or perineal arch. We're the only company that actually will provide support for all three arches. So it's called three arch technology. Alongside of that, we also provide a comfort and care guarantee. So that means if your orthotics aren't comfortable, we'll do them again free of charge. So it's real surety for you. So what I'm gonna do in a moment is wrap your feet in plaster. I'm gonna put the support and correction into that plaster where we need it. We take that plaster off and we fill it with a liquid plaster of Paris, okay? Once that's stripped off, we end up with a positive cast like this of your foot. We then put further correction and support into those areas that we need. Balance up your foot so it doesn't roll in and doesn't roll out. We then vacuum form different materials over that cast to provide custom made foot orthosis, which looks something like this for your foot. So we don't have a lot of support in here because you've got enough support there. We've got this perineal arch and transverse or metatarsal arch as well. And they just simply slide into shoes and fit snugly onto your foot. So we've tested the range of motion, the flexibility of the foot, and all other diagnostic tests. So what we're doing now is we're casting up the feet. So we start off with putting on some indelible pencil marks. So the line down the back here is the midline of the calcaneus and should reflect basically the midline of the lower leg. So that means that the rear foot is in a neutral position. These marks that I'm putting on the feet get reflected inside the negative cast and then get reflected from inside the negative cast to the outside of the positive cast. Made up a plaster wrap. I'm going to wrap around the foot. We use quite warm water. The reason for that is it allows the plaster to set quickly and also is more comfortable for the patient. important part here is to make sure that we smooth it out really nicely. The smoothing helps the plaster to stick together, to stick to the foot, and also creates a nice strong cast at the end. Nice blending, nice and smooth. Manipulation of the foot then involves dorsiflexing or extending the big toe, plantar flexing it, dorsiflexing the fifth metatarsal, which is down here, which basically should mean that the forefoot should be perpendicular to the rear foot mark. That means the foot is now in a locked, rigid, propulsive position. From here, we start blending in contours the contours then reflect the three arch technology that we use at Complete Feet. Supporting the cuboid or perineal arch through the midfoot into the metatarsals. Making sure at the same time we're contouring the medial longitudinal arch. The medial longitudinal arch is the arch that everyone knows about. It sits in through here.
As the plaster starts to dry and set, we find that our contours and our arch support can get deeper and more corrective. So now that the cast is set, we can remove it. To remove it, we dorsiflex the foot and ease the cast off at the heel, forward and down. So as you can see, we've got a nice smooth cast. We've got the indelible marks in there, the forefoot and the rear foot. And we've got our three arches in there, medial longitudinal arch, transverse arch, perineal arch in through here. The name will be then put on this and we're gonna send this out to the Complete Feet Laboratory. So now that we've got our pair of completed casts with three arch technology, I've also made up the prescription for the orthotics. This prescription has the type, length, the covers, and also specific biomechanical measurements that we need to complete the orthotics. Down the bottom, we have the quality assurance to ensure that we have top notch quality every time with our orthotics. This will get sent with the casts out to the Complete Feet Laboratory for fabrication. Most common questions. What are orthotics? Orthotics are a medical device used to support and brace certain parts of the body, including foot orthotics, which can be placed in shoes. Functional foot orthotics are a means to control and correct abnormal alignment and redistribute forces of the foot, ankle, and even the knee or lower back. Is there any maintenance? Your orthotics and feet need regular maintenance. To clean your orthotics, use only warm water and mild soap. Air out your orthotics regularly, but do not dry them in heat over 30 degrees. You must return for regular visits as advised by your clinician to have your feet treated and your orthotics checked. Will my orthotics be uncomfortable? You may feel slight discomfort or tightness until your feet become accustomed to your orthotics. If discomfort is too great, Rest your feet from the orthotics and avoid impact sports, long runs or walks. Repeat this process until you feel more comfortable wearing your orthotics for longer periods. For full custom orthotic therapy, we include up to three visits within three months to make adjustments for your orthotics and treatment program. This is part of your comfort and care guarantee. Plaster is mixed and poured into the casts. Materials are heated, then vacuum formed over the cast under heat pressure. Layers are added for support and the positive cast is removed and top covers added. All foot orthotics are finished by hand and any prescriptions added for each patient and individual pathology.